Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Square Wave 2. The topic of today's video is cataract surgery, specifically my cataract surgery at Kaiser Permanente. It recently occurred to me that a lot of my viewers are probably senior citizens just like me and some of them may be approaching cataract surgery with a lot of trepidation. I certainly did. I was scared to death. I hope this video will dispel some of the fears that some of you may have. I'm one of those lucky individuals who has never had a surgery and never broken a bone. And the idea of cutting on my eye with a knife was absolutely horrifying to me. And later I found out I would not be getting a general anesthetic. There would be no twilight sleep like the dentist gives you. I would be awake during the surgery. But last April was my birthday and my driver's license expired. So I knew I had to go in and get it renewed. So the first thing I did was make an appointment with my optometrist to check my eyes, check my glasses, make sure I would be able to pass the DMV eye test. And it's a very good thing I did this because the doctor said glasses would not help me pass the test. I had a large cataract in the left eye and the only cure was cataract surgery. Now without the necessity of renewing my license so I could drive, I probably never would have the courage to sign up for cataract surgery. The process began with a visit with Dr. Lawrence Rohr, that's R-O-E-R, -E ophthalmologist, at the Kaiser City Panorama offices. Dr. Rohr made a very good impression. He seemed precise, accurate, competent, and very communicative. He was able to answer all my questions, and he asked me a couple of questions, and one of them struck me as being kind of odd. He asked me if I was taking any of those medications to aid in urination that gentlemen my age often have to take. I told him no, I was okay in that department. Later on in the afternoon, it hit me why he asked the question. Maybe he intended to catheterize me during the surgery. If you don't know what that is, it involves putting a rubber tube up into the bladder to drain urine off during surgery. I knew all about it, I'd seen it done, and believe me, I did not want this done to me. Typically, a surgery patient has to get rid of all their street clothes, wear one of those skimpy, embarrassing hospital gowns, and the bed is rolled into surgery, where they are physically lifted and transferred to the operating table, and then at some point they get catheterized. Then after the surgery, they are lifted back onto a rolling bed, put into recovery, where they might stay from anywhere from one to many hours recovering from the general anesthetic. Now let me assure you that cataract surgery was not at all like this. It was not at all what I expected. First of all, I was able to keep my street clothes on. No hospital gown. No catheter. Dr. Rohr explained to me that some of the medications men take to improve urination can also affect cataract surgery, and so he has to know about this and be forewarned. I was hooked up to monitors and I was given an IV which had a mild sedative. I was rolled into surgery. I stayed in the same bed, no transfer. My head was taped down with a piece of strong tape that went across my forehead and fastened on each side, completely immobilized my head. What I saw was a large white field. I didn't see any instruments cutting on my eye. I saw a very large bright white field like looking at a big movie screen with no image. And after a while, three round circles in a tight group began to appear. They were different colors and they appeared to move about the white field. It was sort of looking like a motion picture screen. Weeks prior to the surgery, I was very concerned about cutting on my eye. The doctor assured me that only two small incisions were made and one was only three centimeters. That's one-eighth of an inch. Everything was done through a one-eighth of an inch opening. The incisions, I prefer to call them punctures, were made at the outer perimeter of the cornea. The cornea is a clear window that covers the eye. After the surgery was over, 
I was wheeled back into the area I was in before the surgery. My IV was removed and the electrodes for the monitor were also taken off. I was immediately helped right into a wheelchair, pushed out into the parking lot to my automobile where my wife was waiting for me. There was no long recovery time because I had not had a general anesthetic. I entered the hospital at 8.30 a.m. and I was out by 11.30, pretty darn fast. They had taped a plastic shield over my left eye and I was told to leave it on the rest of the day, to leave it on that night and take it off the next morning. Thereafter, I was to put it on at night only for one week and this was not very difficult to do. The next day, I was very anxious to see the progress of my surgery. I took the shield off and holy cow, something had gone wrong. My vision was cloudy. Everything was very cloudy. Everything was totally out of focus. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have done this. A mistake had been made. I was very foolish to get the surgery. Now that very afternoon, I had a follow-up appointment at 1.30 with Dr. Rohr. In his office, he examined my eye carefully with some kind of electronic optical instrument, and he told me that my cornea, the clear covering of the eye, had swollen. But this was perfectly normal. It was no big deal. It would go away within a week. And he told me how to adjust one of the two eye drop medications I had picked up at the pharmacy. And speaking of eye drops, in my case, I had to have two different eye drops and they had to be applied five minutes apart, and I had to get this done four times every day, four times a day. Now, I strongly recommend that if you're going to have this done, you have somebody on hand to give you the drops and keep track of the times. In my case, my wife, Christine, was able to do it, and she did it very well. Thank you, Christine. In conclusion, let me tell you that cataract surgery is nothing to be afraid of. It's been done for many, many years, and the technique is thoroughly perfected today. My surgery was done a week ago, and right now my vision is perfectly clear. No cloudiness, everything is in sharp focus. Colors are brilliant and absolutely very vibrant. Let me assure you that during the operation, I did not feel any pain at any time. I didn't even feel any pressure on my eye. The only thing I felt was when my eye was apparently washed out with some kind of liquid. This happened two or three times towards the end of the surgery. So folks, get your surgery with confidence. My thanks to Dr. Lawrence and to Kaiser for a job well done. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for some of you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.